And then the content specialists, we didn't want to kill, um, you know, like passion for a given, for a given subject area. So if I'm passionate about science, um, you know, we wanted to to provide that. So if a, if if I'm an English teacher and I'm your your generalist, or if I'm a special ed teacher and I'm your generalist, um, I may not have that passion for science. I may, but I may not. Um, but when the science teacher comes in, they will definitely bring that life and spirit uh, into science. So we wanted to provide them a an expert, licensed expert, required by law, um, but b bring that uh, bring that passion about their subject area to a kid because that might spark something that wasn't there before. Because it has to be it has to be completely aligned in order for her to be born yes. a Virgo. And it's not right. No, it is. That's why you're born a oh, Virgo. Okay. It, you, okay. you know, it, the Earth doesn't have to be here for you to be born a Virgo. Mm -hmm. It just has to be aligned with the Sun and the Earth. Oh, right. so basically the alignment of the Yeah, sun it has to be perfectly aligned. Because oh. I'm a Libra and I was born in October. The, the reason why a teacher would, would push in instead of pull out would be to be able to target specific students in my arena. And we would identify those students for that teacher, with that teacher, um, in our in our weekly instructional team meetings to be able to say, you know, James is working on a math credit this month. Um, he should be on the list of people who sh who should be targeted for a mini lesson um, when the math teacher comes in every single day. So then we can pull those students together, have a mini lesson in the classroom, and then send them back to either complete a series of tasks associated with that credit or to switch off to another credit that they're also working on at the same time.